Are you ready to share the light of Christ? This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. St. Catherine Drexel was born into a wealthy American family in 1858. As the daughter of a prominent banker, she lived a life of privilege, but her parents instilled in her a deep sense of charity and faith. When she was young, her family opened their home to people experiencing poverty, offering food, clothing, and assistance. This experience planted a seed in Catherine's heart. As she grew older, Catherine was moved by the plight of Native Americans and African Americans who suffered from poverty and discrimination. She realized that despite her wealth, she could not ignore their struggles. While men in her position might have enjoyed a life of luxury, Catherine knew she had been given much and felt a strong call to use her resources to help those in need. After a private audience with Pope Leo XIII, who challenged her to become a missionary, Catherine made a life-changing decision. She chose to dedicate her life to serving the marginalized. In 1891, she founded the Sisters of the Blessed Sacrament, a religious order focused on educating and supporting Native American and African American communities. Catherine could not have kept her wealth and faith to herself, living a comfortable life. Instead, she chose to be a light in the world, using her resources to build schools, churches, and missions across the United States. By the time of her death in 1955, St. Catherine Drexel had used her $20 million inheritance to establish over 60 schools and missions helping to educate and uplift thousands of people. When Jesus talks about lighting a lamp in today's Gospel reading in the book of Luke chapter 8 verses 16 to 18, he is using a metaphor you know, to explain how we should share God's love. You know, it is important to picture an oil lamp with a wick that could be that could be lit. You know, many such lamps from Jesus' time have been found around the Mediterranean. These lamps were used to provide light when darkness fell. As Jesus explains, no one would light such a lamp and then cover it with a bowl or hide it under a bed. It wouldn't make sense. And this image illustrates that when the light of faith is ignited in a person's life, it is not meant to be concealed. Instead, it should be allowed to shine. In our prayer time today, let us ponder on our calling to let the light of our faith be visible you know, in how we live, what we do, and how we relate to others. To do this, we must nurture that faith. The Gospel reading suggests that one way to nurture this light is by listening to the Lord's word. Jesus says, Take care how you hear, for anyone who has will be given more. By attentively listening to the Lord's word, the light of faith will grow stronger and shine more brightly through our actions. And when this happens, we become supporters of one another you know, on our shared journey of faith. By letting the light of our faith shine, we are inspiring others to do the same. In our opening story, St. Catherine Drexel's life reflects the message of Luke 8 
verses 16 to 18. She did not hide the light of her faith or the gifts she had been given. Instead, she placed the light on a stand where it could shine brightly and illuminate the lives of others. By sharing her wealth, time, and talents, she ensured that the light of Christ's love reach those who need it most. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Loving Father, source of all good things, thanks for today's Gospel reading. Help us to shine the light of Jesus through us in the way we carry ourselves, the way we relate to others, so that every person we encounter may feel your presence. You are the source of this light. Allow us to be able to reflect it brightly so that the others will feel your loving presence in their lives. It will be you shining on others through us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God bless you and your families, our Catholic faith, and couples for Christ.